today I'm going to be doing a new type of video. I thought I would add it to my monthly video section and I want to talk about all of the new collections and releases and launches that are coming up for this month. And I know this one is a little bit late, so some of these collections are already available, but I thought just in case you hadn't made it to the drugstore or you'd like some extra information about any of these collections that I can give it to you here. I did try to film this about a week ago and I realized that the way I had filmed it wasn't going to work. So I'm refilming this and trying something new and I hope it works out. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I can start making these and I can plan them a little bit better. But let's go ahead and jump right in because we do have a lot to talk about. Okay, so we're going to start off with Essence, and they are coming out with two collections this month. One is the Blossom Dreams collection. I'm going to add the header image somewhere on the screen, um, just because I can't go through every single product because that would just take way too long. A lot of this stuff is just like they release with their normal collections. We've got an eyeshadow palette, we have a highlighter, we have some nail polish, or we don't actually have nail polish, we have nail supplies. We have nail pigments and the top coats that go along with it. We've got a brush. We have a lot of new stuff coming out. And this collection will be available from March until April. And this one, I believe, comes to all DM stores. I'm not totally sure because they're releasing two different collections. The second collection is exclusive to certain stores. I'm not sure which ones, but I know you can check dm.de. They should have both of them, I think, and then I also think that Mula should have both collections. I'm not entirely sure about that. If I find out any info, I will put it in the description box. The second collection from Essence is the Little Beauty Angels Color Correcting Collection, and as you can tell by the name, this collection focuses around color correcting. Essence did release three color correcting concealers with their spring and summer update. So in this collection, we're focusing more on priming the skin. There's also a powder being released, some priming nail polishes. They're really filling out the rest of their color correcting collection with these products. Like I said, I will put the header image somewhere on the screen so you can get kind of an idea of what is available. And this is the collection that is semi-exclusive to certain stores. Not every DM market is going to get this collection. Like I said, you can check DM online. There's also, I'll link another website down below where I check for exclusive collections because usually I don't want to drive to five different stores to find a certain collection. Okay, now moving a little bit away from Essence, we're going to be talking about Catrice. And Catrice's new collection for March is a collaboration with Marina Hormansider. She is a fashion expert. She's a fashion designer and also a model, and the collection is based around straps. That is the whole idea behind it. This isn't a very big collection. You've got some lipsticks, you've got an eyeshadow palette, you've got a cream blush. You also have a really cute bag, which is probably my favorite thing in this collection, and you've got a brush and a highlighter. It's a, it's a small collection just like Catrice normally releases. Uh, this one will come to all DM markets as far as I know and it will be available from March until April. Okay, next we're going to be talking about a brand that I don't normally talk about because they're not available in DM markets and I don't have a lot of other options around me. The brand is called LOV and it is also under the umbrella of the Cosnova brands which would be Essence, Catrice, and LOV. Um, they are releasing a spring collection. It's again not a very big collection. You're going to get some nail polishes. You've got a highlighter bronzer compact. You've got some eyeshadow creams and some satin lipsticks. Um, like I said, all of the pictures will be here on the screen and I will link it below if you're interested. These are sold online. They have a website, I believe it's lov.de and they are also sold at Mular, so I will link both of those down below for you if you are interested in this collection. And also from LOV, although it's not a full collection, they are adding two new, I think they are eyeshadows to their highlighting eyeshadow collection. There are two new shades, uh, Lagoon Escape and Merlot Drive. I will add pictures somewhere. Um, they are available uh, after March or as of March, I guess I should say, and again, these are only available online or in Mueller stores. 
brand is Miss Lynn. I don't often talk about Miss Lynn because I didn't know about them. I had found them, I believe, on Instagram a while ago, and I had never seen them in a store before. And since I'm not the biggest fan of buying makeup on the internet, I really like to go to the store and touch and feel and, and see for myself. I never really spoke about them before, but I do now know that they are sold exclusively in Mueller, which is a little bit disappointing because it is a little bit more difficult to get to, but they do have some really awesome products, so I'm going to go ahead and link their website down below because you really should check them out. They are really cool. Uh, this is the Pop Your Makeup collection, and it really reminds me of Packaging by the Balm, um, which I think is really cool. Their prices are a lot better than the Balm. I have never really tried any of their products. I've tried, I've just done swatches of a few of their blushes before, but I've never really purchased anything from them, so I can't give you any thoughts on them. But you're going to get a lot of powders in this collection. There are a ton of bronzers, there's some fixing powder, there's a highlighter, there's a bunch of new blushes, and then we have a setting spray. I believe this collection should be available as of March and until April. I am not totally sure. I don't have an exact date, but the press release information was released for March, so that's what I'm assuming. And that is exclusive to, I believe, Mueller is called Ardell Young, and this is the Chromatic Collection. You get everything that comes in this collection is either gold or silver, so if you don't like that, those type of metallic shades, then this is definitely not something for you, but you're going to get nail polish, lip gloss, mascara, a highlighter, you get a lot of stuff all in silver or gold. I will hopefully leave a picture somewhere here if I have one, I believe I do. Essie, they came out with a spring collection with all new colors. There are six new colors and I will put them right here on the screen. We have All the Wave, which is blue. Backstage Besties, which is pink. Aha Moment, which is fuchsia. Designated DJ is magenta, excuse me sir is light pink, and on the roadie is green. These are available in DM markets, and I believe they should be out now, I think I've seen them recently. So another brand that I don't talk about as often as I should is Zoeva, and they are coming out with a huge new launch. They are launching their own strobing palettes. They're coming out with winter, spring, and summer strobe. You get four highlighters inside, so they're pretty much similar to a glow kit. There is winter strobe, spring strobe, and summer strobe. They all have different shades in them. They're all um, available online, and I believe in Douglas. I'm not totally sure if the new collections are coming to Douglas. I do know that Zoeva is sold there, but just in case, I'll link their shop down below. And along with the strobing palettes, we're also getting a matte eyeshadow palette and a cream contouring palette. Um, I am a little bit confused on the information I got on the cream contour palette because it says cream contour on their website and in the press release. But in the description, it tells me that they are matte and satin finishes. So, they look like powders, but they say they're creams. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but if you're interested, the link is below. Okay, you guys, so I hope that worked better for you guys and you could follow along much better. I know it was much easier for me and it will be a lot easier to edit it. I promise if you guys want to see more of this, if you like this video, I will have it up much earlier next month and that way... I can plan it a little bit better and figure out if I want to change anything or add anything to the video. So, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There should be a button in the middle. And if you are interested, my, there should be a link to my blog over here. And all my social media is linked in the description bar. So, I will see you guys in my next video.